Now, a couple days go by, and Chuck Tatum's feet are getting messed up from being in socks and dirt wet. And so he needs to get some, some clean socks. And there's basically one place to get them. Given the condition of my feet, I knew additional socks were imperative. I asked Sergeant Wendell for permission to make a run to the dead man or casualty pile to look for a pair. The dead man or casualty pile contained clothing, equipment, and weapons of dead or wounded Marines. I had to go a quarter of a mile, and as I hobbled there, I felt uneasy and a bit guilty about the prospect of being a scavenger. But I had no choice. The demands and horrors of Iwo's battlefield left no other ready solution to the problem of resupply. I hesitantly picked up a pack only to drop it instantly. There was a bullet hole straight through it. I found another one intact and slowly lifted it, trying to see the stenciled name of its previous owner. Curiosity got the best of me. It wasn't anyone I knew. Undoing the straps, I carefully removed the contents. There were two perfectly clean and dry pair of green wool socks. A celluloid folder lay at the bottom of the pack, and it fell to the ground as I shook out the contents. I opened the folder. A photo of a smiling girl beamed at me. All my love to Joe. Marilyn was neatly written across the bottom of the photograph. I carefully replaced the folder in the pack and said a prayer for Joe and Marilyn. Yeah. You're taking gear from dead and wounded Marines.